I'm here with the Aldrin Family Foundation, and we're here actually to, to talk to kids in schools and, and really show the connection between space and education, and that connection is really inspiration. It was terrifying in the way it would be terrifying for an 11 year old whose father is on TV, you know, in front of 300 million people, including, including importantly, all of my classmates, right? So I am worried that dad's going to do something to embarrass me because it's all about me, right? And so there's this chord that's, I remember this distinctly, there's this chord that's going out to an instrument. And, and my dad's kind of hopping on the moon, demonstrating some sophisticated means of loco locomotion, because he told me you can't really walk on the moon, you need to hop, and so he's doing that, but I'm convinced he's gonna trip over this cord, fall flat on his back like a dead bug in front of 300 million people and my classmates. That's what I'm thinking about. Anybody, not just kids and not just small companies can participate in space now. What, what used to cost tens of millions of dollars to build a satellite, you can build a satellite now for tens of thousands of dollars. You won't have to be an astronaut working for NASA, working for the European Space Agency. Anybody will have the opportunity in, to participate in space.